Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Osprey Farpoint 40, both the large and the small versions. Here at Pack Hacker, we share our travel tips and tricks, we share guides, and we do travel gear reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Nathan, our video editor and contributor, and also a vlogger over at Always of Friday, has been traveling with the Osprey Farpoint 40, along with his partner, Rebecca, for about the past year. So we put our heads together and we came up with some thoughts on the Osprey Farpoint 40. Let's jump into the review. If you've ever searched the internet for best travel backpack, or wandered around your local camping or sporting goods store, chances are you've come across the Osprey Farpoint series before. It's one of the most popular bags for travellers due to its availability. Now the Farpoint come in four different sizes, a 40 litre, a 55 litre, a 70 litre and a whopping 80 litre backpack. Now the ones we've been testing are the 40 litre versions. They're the only ones that fit into carry-on specifications and since we're all about travelling as lightly as possible here at Pack Hacker, these bags made the most sense. Being six foot four, I went with the ML version or the medium large version, and Rebecca, being five foot seven, went with the SM version or the small medium version. Now they're both exactly the same bag, but the SM version is a tiny little bit shorter and has two liters less capacity. And I'll be bringing Rebecca a little bit later on in the video to come in and get her take on the bag and just the small differences between them. Now, after traveling with both these packs for over a year, we think we know them pretty well. So let's get into it. The Osprey Farpoint looks like a travel backpack and that's fine because, well, that's exactly what it is. It comes in three different colours with the obligatory fancy names, a volcanic grey, a jasper red and a Caribbean blue. Or in other words, grey, red and blue. This pack comes in at 3.17 pounds or 1.44 kilograms. And at maximum dimensions, this pack is 21 inches in length, 14 inches in width and 9 inches in depth. So the main material of this bag is 210D nylon mini hex diamond ripstop and that basically means it's some pretty strong lightweight fabric. The ripstop material of this bag basically means that it's resistant to any tearing and rips but that doesn't mean it's impossible. Now the ML version of the bag we had has done incredibly well without showing any signs of wear and tear but the SM version of the bag has got some very very small tears um, and kind of pretty much just little nicks basically. Um, now we're putting this down to the fact that we check this bag into the hold of an aircraft a few times and the way they kind of throw them around and they go on the belts etc. Um, whereas this one we didn't and that's done it absolutely fine. Now obviously these bags are meant for um, carry-on so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, and the good thing is is that this ripstop material has basically meant that these small kind of nicks in the material have stopped and they haven't gotten any larger so that's good. Now this bag doesn't claim to be waterproof but we found it to be very very water resistant. That being said however if you've got laptops and notebooks in the front of this thing you're still going to want to pick up a rain cover and what this will do is go over the entirety of the front of the pack and just save it from any potential downpour that you may find yourself in. Now we only use this maybe once or twice in a year but it's great to know that you've got it in your bag if you need it. Now at first glance, it doesn't look like the Osprey Farpoint has too much fancy stuff going on, but there's actually some really nifty stuff here. Now one of our favorite things about this bag is that at the back, the straps, harness and hip belt all zip away at the back of the bag. So you unravel this thing here, fold that over the back, basically strap it up. And what this does, is it means that everything is hidden at the back of the bag and there's basically no loose stuff coming off. And this is really handy when you're say at the airport and you're getting onto an aircraft or you wanna store it away. And obviously you can have the straps at the back but it just makes it so much easier that they are strapped away and hidden. And we really, really like this feature. For added security, the zips on this bag are lockable, which basically means when you push them together, they'll provide a little hole for you to pop a padlock through. Now, these zips aren't YKK, 
but we found them to be really durable. As we said before, we've had this bag for over a year. We've had the bag super full and really yanking at the zips and we haven't had a problem with any of them. So all good there. Adding even more security to this pack are the compression straps on the front of this thing. Now, what happens here is when you strap this in, what it does is it pulls a bit of material over the zip basically so that means when this thing is strapped in you can't undo the zip which is really cool and also they help with a little bit of sturdiness when you pop something in the front of this bag we like to pop our tripod in the front here and that will go under one of these straps and it will just secure it a little bit more tightly that being said with the mesh pockets on this thing when this bag is really full and all the room is compressed inside there's not too much room in here and you kind of you struggle to get like a hand in but it will work with small bottles but anything too large when this bag is full you probably can't get it in now the shoulder straps on this thing are comfortable and well padded and you have the hip belt and the sternum strap for added load lifting comfort. Now when the hip belt isn't locked in it doesn't flail around too much and also the sternum strap doesn't dig in either so all solid wins in this department. Now this bag has a top handle and it also has a side handle as well. Now they're really nice and really well padded but they're hardly ever used. And also they throw in a shoulder strap, which is this thing here. It attaches onto these two points here. But if you've got this bag, a 40 liter bag at full weight, you don't really want it hanging off your shoulder. But nevertheless, they've given it to us. We've never used ours, but you can if you want to. Now the main compartment in this thing is a large clamshell design. And what that means is that it opens up all the way so you have access to everything inside all at once. And Osprey sum this up really well on their website by saying it's carried like a backpack but packed like a suitcase. Now with this bag, because it's a clamshell design, you don't necessarily need packing cubes, but we'd still strongly recommend them for the added organization. Now in this main compartment, you have a large mesh pocket here. And although you can't put anything too bulky in there, we found it works really well with our cocoon grid it. And that'll just slide in there and you can zip up really easily. And also inside, you've got some compression straps, which basically mean when this bag is full, you can hook them over the top of everything and just compress everything down if you need to. Other than the main compartment, there's also this front compartment here. Now at first glance, it looks pretty big. And when it's empty, you can probably think you're gonna fit a load of stuff in there. But when the main compartment is full and you've got everything in there as tight as it can be, what happens is that this front compartment gets really compressed and the same with the mesh straps on the front, you can't really fit that much in here. That being said, however, the laptop compartment, which will fit a 15 inch laptop really easily, is really good. There's a bit of padding, not a crazy amount, but um, ours have been completely fine. And also there's another mesh pocket here as well. And that's good for say tablets or smaller notebooks. Um, we found it good for uh, notepads as well and bits of paper is really handy. One of the downsides to this pack, however, is that the laptop compartment is on the front, meaning when a laptop is in here, usually they're quite heavy and it sits quite far away from your bag when this thing is on your back, meaning the weight distribution isn't as good as it necessarily could be. There is one last little pocket on this thing and this is this little one at the top front of the bag. Just a small zip pocket, you won't fit too much stuff inside of here, but it's good for kind of quick grab items like passports, maybe a hand sanitizer, pens and stuff like that. Great for when you're going through an airport and you just need to chuck things in here really quickly. That little pocket comes in super helpful. Um, and also one last thing to know about this pack is that the straps here, when they're done up, you don't actually have access to the zips, meaning if everything's done up and you need to grab something out of the main compartment, you've got to undo these little straps here and then get inside the bag. So again, one of the main reasons this little small pocket at the front comes in really handy. We've been using these Osprey 40 litre backpacks for just over a year now. We've had them up in the mountains of Nepal, we've had them on Cambodian beaches, even on the back of a scooter in Myanmar, and we've trusted them the entire time. Even though we've only had a couple of rips and tears just in this pack here, Osprey do offer what they call an almighty guarantee. Now at first it sounds great and it will cover you for the lifetime of the bag. That being said, however, it may not last as long as you would think. 
Now Osprey determines something called a reasonable lifetime and with these bags in particular they say they're used every day which means the reasonable lifetime may be shorter than you would think originally. Now we're not entirely sure how long it is with these bags, maybe a couple of years um, but definitely not a lifetime. Now I'm going to pull Rebecca in who is going to give us a quick insight into the two different bags and also her quick take on it all. <laughs> Hello! So, Nathan had the ML bag and I had the SM. I'm around five foot seven, Nathan is around six foot four and we found the cutoff to be about five foot eight. So one thing that's very important to note is that even though it's called the Farpoint 40, the SM is actually only 38 litres. Now in comparison, I notice a really big difference, you, you wouldn't have thought you would, but at full capacity, I found Nathan's bag really, really too heavy for me and the actual size of it too big for my back as well. So if you're um, maybe five foot, five foot eight and under, I do recommend that you get the SM size. So what I really loved about this bag is the zips are fantastic. There was no issues with those. And I love that you have so many pockets as well. Inside, outside, the laptop sleeve. These were as handy and I used to like hang my boots on these as well. I mean, yeah, I absolutely love this bag so much. Now onto some of the pros of this pack. We found the longevity to be really good. Even after one year of pretty full on travel, they've held up really well. Even though we've just had a couple of small tears and nicks on this one, because of that ripstop material, they haven't gotten any larger. The straps, harness and hip belt on this bag all zip away, which is really handy and creating a low profile of carry when you're getting onto an aircraft or you're stowing this bag away. This bag is also very comfortable, even at full capacity, which is great because when you're traveling, this thing's gonna be in your back nearly all the time. Now onto some of the cons. When the main compartment is full and you've got everything crammed in there, it does limit the space in the front compartment and the front mesh pockets. The laptop compartment is at the front of the bag, which means that when it's on your back, it's quite far away from your body, which isn't ideal for weight distribution. And finally, the questionable, reasonable lifetime guarantee. We're not entirely sure how long Osprey will cover this bag, and it just gets a bit confusing if anything were to go wrong with it. Thanks for taking a look at our review of the Osprey Farpoint 40. If you're not there already, head over to packhacker.com and you can kind of check out the full review that we've done in text format. We sometimes add additional detail in there and we'll always keep track of everything on the usage timeline as this thing continues to kind of hold up and we use it for longer. Also be sure to check out Nathan and Rebecca at Always a Friday. They're doing some really great traveling around Japan, Malaysia, and now they're doing a lot of Europe. So be sure to follow them for some tips and tricks and just general travel guides. Thanks for checking this out. We'll see you in the next video. The sternum, sternum. Hello, just coming very, very British, hello. The longevity, longevity.